hear his I he's saying that this isn't true. Yeah, so look, 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 check it out, man. At I'm a certified, certified stepper. Watch your mother before you talk about me, nigga. On the dead homies. Nigga. Yeah. Well, like, look, like, like, like certified, bro. On the dead homies. Like, nigga, don't play because on 6 so a nigga uh, uh, sit on the couch and really have pressure on you. Yeah, you wouldn't even know where it came from. At the end of the day, you don't pop out or nothing like that. It is what it is. I said I apologize, but nigga, you going in here talking about a failed crib. Nigga, check my resume, nigga. On the dead homies. Nigga, I'm known for slapping just like you, nigga. I would say more, nigga. Uh, you lived in L.A., nigga. Uh, six, so you be paying my rent. Damn. Dead homies, nigga. For, uh, uh, six, so you might, you might, you might be paying it for Miami. Keep talking. And then the other nigga, bring back, both of them are bums. I sw I haven't watched the video, but I seen people messaging me about like a comment or a quote. I think that little nigga, Brick Baby, say, "Yo, oh, act if you was living in the West Coast, you'd be paying my rent." Yo, Brick Baby, my nigga, I don't get extorted, my nigga. I don't know what type of you're talking about, but before you think I'd pay your rent, before I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen, but before you think I'd ever pay your rent, I get your own homies. I pay them to knock you off. Stop playing. No nigga extorts me, my nigga. Stop it. You're a bum-ass banger. Who gonna do what you gonna do? Stop acting like you some. I'm telling you, your own homies. I get them a three hundred thousand. You be gone. Stop playing, nigga. Talking about I be paying you, right, nigga? You stupid, nigga. You up at no jumping, nigga. Working like a slave, nigga. Keep doing that. Stop playing with me. Peon, nigga. Nigga like you, would, bro. Stop playing, nigga. Like you really, like you really like a broke nigga who's working, risking it all for. Like stop playing, little nigga. Like you tweaking. What about who you got money? And I got the money. You broke. Nigga, I tell your whole set to pack you out. Chill out, boy. I don't know what you on. Like, I don't know what you think you like gassed out. My nigga, you're not that. You're not that. You're just like a, a nigga who's trying to get a paycheck. Do that and keep it moving. And when I come there, nigga, you could be a no jumping nigga. I'm walking in with everybody who I'm paying. You won't say a fing word. You won't say a f word, nigga. You could beat her in no jumper when I'm coming through. You won't say a f word. You prevent me from doing what I gotta do. You prevent me from getting an interview. Or you actually, all that, or you won't pay my rent. You step to me to pay your rent. And let's see how it goes. Nigga, you're not about to do nothing. You're not doing nothing. You're just gonna sit there and be like, oh my God, I don't like academics. Shut up. You're a little nigga. I might, I might actually send him like 200000 to spank you out just because. You shouldn't even be talking about me. You a dirty nigga working at no jumper, nigga. If you a big dog, say this. I run this shit because I told Adam when I come to L.A., I'm doing community, back on fig, and no jumper. When I come to no jumper, you're going to be at home watching on your fucking flip phone. You know why? Because maybe your master, Adam, is going to say, hey, Ak is the big dog. He's coming here, and we need them. We need that little traction. You got to be at home, or you got to be back in the hood. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And I'm not really laughing at the concept of, Niggas get niggas extorted or threaten to extort niggas. But the way the delivery comes off, you can't help but laugh, man, because it's entertaining. When my partner had DM'd it to me last night and everything, I bust out laughing like a motherfucker here. This nigga academics talking about I give you 300K, nigga. That was wild. But we've seen over the years where either Adam22 himself has had issues online with academics that went into like a little back and forth. Or somebody who's part of the No Jumper crew has had issues with academics and they've had, turned that into a back and forth. And it's no different here. And I had links in the description where you can watch both clips in full at from the No Jumper channel and a live stream from King Academics. And to my understanding, this got kicked off the other day when Sharp and Brick Baby were doing the news and it came across as a topic 
that one of academics' exes or a girl he was dealing with tried to put out some exposing on him, saying he caught a charge of some sexual stuff or was playing with the other side. Me, I stay away from that type of stuff with the exposing and everything. Because when it be coming from a female, most of the time it be some ulterior motives and she probably lying. And I'm like, if you ain't got no proof, if it ain't all over the news and the media, I'm not really concerned. But them topics, I don't be too much concerned with that type of content anyways. But to each his own. Well, when Sharp turned, saw it, he turned up, went in. Him and academics got the history of going back and forth. Brick was there. Brick was kind of the part I saw was kind of playing it like if a little bit, if he did this, if that. But then he kind of did like kind of say, nigga, like that it is true. He was turned up about it. Like he was kind of doing it, but it was kind of like, oh, a nigga can take that away. Well, academics did, went back and said what he said, question the cricket. Crit baby credibility, his status in the game, and everything like that. So you got the response to niggas. I had niggas, I had you paying my rent. You know academics is gonna turn up on that. We've seen this over the years, it's nothing new. He gonna go to the level of saying, hey, you working for Massa, you ain't a boss, I am nigga, I'll buy you, I had your partners flipping on you, doing all this and doing all that. He wants to win those type of arguments every time, and he shows it once again. He gonna even go to the level where he'll make you look at Adam a certain way if you just know what it is. Like, hey, bro, nigga, that nigga Adam ain't even got your back. Nigga, I have him on my side when I come out there. He always do that. Nigga, your boss can't rock with me, nigga. Your boss ain't gonna respond to me. He says this time and time again, nigga. So that's just the line he gonna press in it. But it's all just them popping their little noise online at this point. Ain't too much going on. They gonna talk, they know us. They'll get over it. We'll see. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000. I would say more, nigga. Uh, you lived in LA, nigga. Uh, six, so you be paying my rent. Damn. Dead homies, nigga. She just sent him like 200,000 to spank you out just cuz. You shouldn't even be talking about me. You a dirty nigga working at no jumper, nigga.